One thing that never ceases to amaze me with the dogs is their sheer resilience. We're gonna meet Coco Chanel today. She came in about a month ago. She had terrible abuse. She'd been slashed across her legs. She also had a prolapsed uterus. She really, really was at rock bottom. She'd been targeted by somebody in the neighborhood. Her locals have given her to us to fix her up and we've got some really, really good news for Coco today. She's got a wonderful person who's uh, been very kind to her, but also she's looking and feeling a lot better. So without any further ado, let me go and get her and tell you all about Coco Chanel. So this is Coco Chanel. She came in about a month ago now and her first problem, which were her legs. She had big slashes on her legs. It was unfortunately a case of cruelty. She was in a very, very bad way. The two lovely women had told us about Coco. She'd been attacked, basically, and she had these horrible, horrible slashes on her legs. And they took, they were so deep that they actually went into the, like in towards the nerve, um, or through the nerve, I think. But she was always the gentlest soul. She's, like you can see, she's such a kind dog. And her story since then has been remarkable. We're gonna fix it. She also had a prolapsed uterus, which is not my area of expertise, I can admit. But she's had a couple of operations. You can see it's still a little bit open here. She's on her third operation now. She got operations for her legs, which are made her heal up beautifully. And she got operations for her... Um... You're a good girl, aren't you? You're a good girl. She really is the nicest, gentlest girl ever. So three operations and she's still healing. But we had a tricky situation. So first of all, I called her Coco Chanel because I think she's just very stylish and unique and she's a little fashion icon with her little hat. This is actually fur, believe it or not. It looks like a little hat at first. At first when I saw her actually, I thought, my God, if they like painted her or if they like, what is going on? But it's, it's just her fur. But she got a lucky break because it was quite expensive to do all this and a woman from America emailed and said she would like to adopt her, but also like to pay for her operations, even if she wasn't gonna adopt her. So she donated for all of Coco's surgeries, which were quite expensive. It's, it's up to about $1,500, I think, now already, in terms of her, all her operations. Most gentle dog you've ever seen. Now, as Coco improves, one thing that can help us massively to really save more dogs like her is just a little subscribe. You can either like or subscribe or leave a comment. It means the world to us as we try to spread the word about street dogs, but let's get back to Coco's story. So it hasn't been easy fixing her, but we've got her, we've got her much better. And the, the tricky part that I was alluding to is we had to go back to the two ladies and the two ladies who were looking after her were really, really nice women, that, but extremely poor. And they had Coco outside, they had their kids. And when I say poor, I mean like very, very, very poor, like barely enough to feed themselves. But they looked after her very well. And the person, from what we gathered, you never know the full story, the, a local person, maybe on drugs, maybe, you know, not there mentally, had slashed um, Coco for no reason. So we went back to them and asked them, like, it, it, Coco was their dog. So we fixed her, the legs, and we were like, should we, should we bring her back to them? And I was kind of like, oh my God, you can't put her back in danger, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do we just keep her? What? You know, it's a moral dilemma. But we went back and talked to the, the two women, and they said they would love for us to keep her because they couldn't be sure that she would be safe there and that it wouldn't happen again. So that was a huge relief that it was cleared with them. And Coco is now recovering. She's in the final stages of her recovery, and she's just a real little angel really we're still a little tiny bit worried about this open wound here just she's going back for a checkup tomorrow but it's nothing major she's she's um friends with everybody she hangs out with the soft gang in there but coco chanel will be adopted very soon so it's been a wonderful recovery a wonderful life awaits coco and even though somebody slashed her legs that hasn't stopped her loving humans so well done coco you made it <laughs>